Hello, and welcome to tonight's homework help for Thursday night, October 25th, 2012. We're going to jump right in with distributive practice. Okay, so we're doing different, pra different types of practice with the distributive property. It says use the distributive property for each problem. Okay, simplify using the distributive property. So I'm going to go ahead and do this problem here. It looks like one of the harder ones. Um, basically, we have 10 times the quantity of 10 plus 7y. Okay, again, this says simplify because it's an expression. There's no equal sign. It doesn't equal anything. So just looking at this, we won't actually be able to figure out what y is. So we just need to distribute 10 to each of these terms to simplify it. And then we're done with that problem. Okay, so I'm going to distribute 10 into each of the terms inside the parentheses. So I get 10 times 10 plus 10 times 7y. Okay, that's supposed to be multiplication there. Okay, so 10 times 10 is 100 plus 10 times 7y. Well, that's basically just 10 times 7 times y. Okay, well, 10 times 7 is 70. And then I just leave the y there, so that's 70y. Okay, at this point, there's nothing else I can do. That's my answer. It's simplified, ready to be boxed in to show that that's my final answer. Okay, uh, moving on further down the homework. It says solve using the distributive property. Okay, this is the same idea. You're going to, oops, you're going to use the... Uh, uh, distributive property to distribute the 2 into the x and the 2 to the 7. You're going to end up with a term here with the 2 multiplied by the x plus a uh, term here with the 2 multiplied by the 7. Then that'll be set equal to 56. You'll have a two-step equation that then you'll have to isolate the variable to figure out what the answer is. It doesn't say that you have to check your work, but it's always a good idea to check your work to see if you got it right. Okay, so each of these problems is worth two points, and then uh, two of these problems up here is worth a point each. So there's four points on this side, four points on the other side. Let's go ahead and move on to the other side, see what we've got there. Okay, and here we are on the other side, distributive property multiplication part C. Okay, the instructions say multiply the whole numbers below by using the distributive property. Multiply the tens and ones place values separately and add the products. Okay, we did this last night. We did this uh, in class several times and we did this the night before. So at this point you guys should have a good idea of how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and do one problem. I'll just do the bottom one here. So 63 can be split up into the tens place would be the 60 and then the, the 3 would be in the ones place. So that's 63 just becomes 60 plus 3, okay? So, uh, and then I know that I'm multiplying that by 3. So just to get the 3 out of the way, uh, I know that the 3 comes after the multiplication symbol, so this should be a 3 and that should be a 3. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. That's a 3, and there's a 3 there, okay? We're, we're already on our way. Okay, and then I've already split up the 60, so the 60 goes here, and then the 3 part goes here. So 60 and 3. So now we have, we've distributed the 3 to the, we've distributed the 3 to the 60 part, and then we're distributed, we're adding that to 3 distributed to the 3 part. Well, here we have 3 times 60. Sometimes some people like to put parentheses, it makes it easier, it's not necessary, but if it helps you out, that's great. So 3 times 60, well I know that 3 times 6 is 18, so if I tack that 0 on at the end, then it's 180. Okay, uh, And then we have 3 times 3 is 9, so we put a 9 there. And if I add them together, 180 plus 9, I get 189. Okay, that's it. Um, just be sure and uh, fill in all the blanks up here, all the way up, and uh, should be good. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to call Mr. Schlepper or myself or send us a text message. Good night, good luck, go Bears! Rawr!